I love using this one liner when I'm reverse engineering IoT firmware. To explain why, let's take one step back. I have a firmware sample here that I'm going to use BinWalk to carve out the different sections of the firmware that it can identify. To do that, I'll go BinWalk dash capital M E, which tells BinWalk to recursively extract out any sections of the firmware that it can identify. We'll then pass in the name of the firmware, which for me is fw.img, and let BinWalk do its magic. If we scroll up to see the results of the different sections that Binwalk was able to identify, we'll see here that it actually was able to pick up a Linux EXT file system, and that's because this firmware is for an embedded Linux device. So this is where that one-liner comes in really handy. By default, Binwalk puts the contents of what it extracted in a directory called underscore, and then the name of the firmware file, and then dot extracted. If we take a look at the contents of this directory, we'll see a couple different files and folders. The one we're most interested in is the root file system, which in this system is called ext-root. So if we navigate over to that directory and then list out the contents, we'll see directories that are similar to any other Unix-like system. Now, we could go and perform an entire manual enumeration of all of these directories. However, this is where this one-liner comes in really handy. What it does is uses find to recursively search through a directory and find any files. It then passes any files that it finds into strings, which looks for any human readable strings inside of that file. And then we pipe that into grep to actually then search on a string we are looking for. So what this lets us do is identify any files that have strings that are of interest to us. So one thing, for example, we could search for is the string password. So next, we just need to go back and get rid of this path to search because we are already in the directory we want to search. So we can just go dot to search here. And then if we run this, we'll see that we find a bunch of different hits for passwords. So these could be of use. If I clear this away, there is one other thing that I really like using this command for, and that is also to look for printable strings that we see in the log files from something like UART. So for example, we might see a function that is printing out called something like set system time, and we want to identify the binary or library where that is from. And we can use this as well to identify those libraries and binaries. I hope you found this useful and you use this trick the next time you are reverse engineering some firmware.